Brothers and sisters, our offering this morning is for Calvin Theological Seminary. That is the official um, seminary of our denomination, uh, one which I myself attended for a little while. It is a good school and it uh, prepares many, many uh, people of all ages and backgrounds to uh, minister in the church, either as pastors or as chaplains or in quite a variety of other roles. Of course, you know that our own uh, Chris Smid is attending Calvin Theological Sem Seminary, and uh, we are uh, grateful and excited for what God continues to have in store for him, as well as the ways in which he is able to minister. You may notice that Chris is often not here, and uh, that is not because he does not like our church, but rather because he is in high demand and is often preaching somewhere. Uh, not to single you out, Heather, but it, where is Chris, Chris today? Westport. Okay, nice, excellent, yeah, wonderful. So uh, preaching in Westport, and uh, we are grateful for that. Um, he also continues to work closely with Pastor Jack uh, Vandehoof from uh, Bethel CRC in Brockville, and so that's great too. In terms of other things that we need to be aware of and be in prayer for, uh, there are quite a variety of things. Uh, please forgive me if I, um, my brain has issues and I don't uh, pray about or mention something. There are a lot of things going on in our community. Um, first of all, uh, not in any order of importance or anything at all, uh, just however they are here. I um, want you to pray, uh, continue to pray for Tina Corton and Ray Corton. Uh, Tina got uh, some some dismaying news uh, from immigration recently and so we need to be in prayer for her that uh, that miracles would happen and uh, that they would have uh, the strength and fortitude and trust in God uh, to be able to do uh, whatever they may need to do uh, in the future. Also, we want to pray very much for uh, Susan Grendel. Uh, this is uh, Grace Newman's mother. Uh, we want to pray uh, for her health. Um, she, uh, yeah, she's, yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Thank you. When did she pass away? Just this past week? Friday. Friday. Okay, I'm so sorry. Uh, see, good thing I said be gracious to me. Uh, well, my condolences then, our condolences to uh, everybody. Um, yeah, Sue Grendel was a wonderful, wonderful lady. Uh, we pray also uh, for um, Gary uh, Haveman's mom, uh, Wilma's aunt. Um, she was in the hospital just recently. She's back, back in uh, her home, um, but she is not 100%, so please be in prayer. Uh, for her. Also, uh, Henry Smid um, is, uh, he's struggling with uh, his health. Uh, he had some gallbladder issues, but he is, he is uh, back home again, right? Yeah, and he's doing uh, somewhat better as well, um, but please be in prayer for, uh, for Henry and Sally and for the whole family there. We pray as well for uh, the family, uh, for Paul uh, Klusterman's uh, family. Um, Paul's sister-in-law, uh, Virginia, uh, passed away um, just this past week. And so, uh, yeah, we pray for, uh, for the whole family and offer our condolences there as well. Also, um, Brian Barr, uh, whom uh, you know, um, he passed away also this uh, past week uh, quite suddenly. There, are, there is some information about uh, the, the funeral and the visitation in the bulletin, so you can check that out. There will be um, a visitation uh, tomorrow and funeral the day after uh, as well. Also, um, many of you will know, uh, will have known Gary Postma. He was the former uh, principal of Timothy Christian School. Uh, and his wife, 
Gala uh, has been a long, long time contributor, writer to, for the banner. Uh, Gary um, passed away also um, this past week. In addition to that, um, our brothers and sisters in Truro, Nova Scotia, had uh, a terrible uh, tragedy. A, uh, a, a young family man uh, in their congregation uh, was in a car accident and passed away also uh, just this past week. And so please be in prayer for the community uh, of Truro, Nova Scotia, for uh, his young wife and uh, the rest of the family as well. We also want to praise God for and pray for uh, Pastor Pete Hirama, who is the, who has been the long, long time pastor of Calvary Christian Reformed Church in uh, the eastern part of Ottawa. He is retiring after many years of faithful service, and so we praise God for his service as well. Now, let's come to God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, Lord, there are many things this morning that are weighing on our hearts. We are grieving together with those who are grieving both in our congregation and in our extended family. Lord, we pray uh, we pray for the family of Susan Grendel, for Ed and for uh, the whole Grendel clan, uh, Lord, and for the Newmans and, and oh, everybody, which is a lot of people, who are going to miss Susan. We are grateful, O oh God, for her faithfulness and her love for you. Lord, we pray as well for comfort, for the Klusterman family, the Barr family, the Postma family, for uh, the family, this young family in Truro, Nova Scotia, and for their whole church community. Lord, would you comfort each and every one, and would you comfort all of those in our congregation and beyond who are grieving? Lord, you say, blessed are those who grieve for they will be comforted. And so, Lord, we do take comfort in Your words. And we pray that Your Spirit would be close to all of those who are mourning. Father, we pray as well that You will be with the ongoing or new health concerns of many people. Lord, we think of Wilma's aunt, um, Gary Haberman's mom. Lord, we pray that you will continue her in her recovery. We pray the same, O oh God, for Henry Smid with his gallbladder struggles. Lord, we pray that you will, uh, you will help both of them to get better soon. Father, we pray as well for the many in our congregation beyond those two who are also struggling with illness, with disease, whether it be physical or mental, or emotional, or spiritual, whatever it may be, O oh God, would you please bring healing in their lives. Of course, Father, this world and your children are not made up simply of the people here in our little village and surrounding area. Lord God, this world is full of your image bearers. And so, Lord, we lay before You the people of Ukraine. We lay before You the people of Russia. We lay before You uh, soldiers on both sides of this conflict. O oh God, we pray for refugees trying to get out of the war zone. We pray for peace to reign. We pray that uh, Vladimir Putin will stop this madness. We pray, O oh God, we pray, O oh God, for peace. Not only in Ukraine, but in world conflicts, conflicts all over, O oh God. Would You please bring peace. And, and, and not just a peace that is a temporary stop to the fighting, a, a ceasefire that is tenuous, O oh God, but Lord, would You please bring 
true peace. The peace that passes understanding. The peace that comes from us submitting ourselves to You and receiving Your Holy Spirit within us. Father, back here again, O God. We pray. We pray that You would continue to be with this province and with this country as things open up again. We are so grateful to not have uh, attendance restrictions, to be able to have Sunday school and nursery, to be able to participate in communion together. All of these things, O oh God. But we know that these things are given to us by grace. And they are precious. Lord, we pray that we would not take them for granted, but instead that we would rejoice in our ability to be together. Father, we pray that You will be with Pastor Pete as he retires in the coming weeks and months. Lord, we pray very much for ongoing uh, wisdom for classes. And Lord, we pray for those who have been nominated to go to Synod as well. Oh God, we pray all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, children, you may be dis dismissed, excuse me, for uh, Sunday school at this time. Mrs. V is back there waiting for you.